Welcome back to the channel, guys. Yeah, it's getting late in the evening. Uh, I was thinking to myself, you know what? I'm going to have a drink tonight. I'll start looking through the cabinets and uh, run across this little bottle. Low fill level on it. I was thinking to myself, why haven't we reviewed this yet? Balcones Lineage. It's a delicious little fruit bomb right here. Well, let's get into it, guys. Como se va, whiskey people? What's up? We got some Balcones Lineage today. Balcones Lineage is a, it's a good one. Uh, coming out of Waco, Texas, Balcones kind of real innovators of whiskey. They they make all kind of stuff, corn whiskey. Uh, they make it in bourbon, um, Texas single malt, which is, this is one of their single malts, uh, rum, rum finished whiskey. They, they, they're doing all kind of experimentation stuff with whiskey and it, they're making some stuff. Um, the climate in Texas though, it, it ages stuff quicker. So um, they'll, they'll put out some whiskeys, but it, it, it has, a, some of them have this own little, uh, Balcones is, Put their own flavor on it to me it tastes like a heated texas sage almost like a herbal flavor and i think it's just because of the climate they have there uh but this one doesn't get it as much as the other ones um the balcones uh single malt really has it uh bourbon the bourbon they have has it uh it's like a real strong uh texas sage flavor but um this one is aged in virgin oak like a bourbon would be and it's also aged in used oak so it has a little lighter color than uh, the typical single malt, which their original single malt is Asian, just straight virgin oak. But uh, pot distilled. Pot distilled out of Waco, Texas. Uh, it says aged at least 36 months in oak. So it's really not an old whiskey, looking at about three years. It's 47% um, by value. It's a 94 proof. Coming out of Waco. But I always, I've always liked all the uh, the Balcones whiskeys. Uh, real, like I said, awesome. Uh, just guys who like whiskey. Um, I think the guys like myself is more of a um, on the Scott side of whiskey. So they have been making more single malts and kind of doing innovative stuff. Um, the bourbon that they do have, like true bourbon enthusiasts, kind of knock it a little bit because it really doesn't taste like the typical Kentucky bourbon or um, like a Tennessee bourbon or MGP whiskey from Indiana. It just tastes a little different. And I think it's that heated sage that gives it that different taste. And the fact that they can't really put a whole lot of age on it because in the climate they have, I mean, one year is, that'd be some dark whiskey. So this one though, on the color, it's, it's a little lighter tinged, but it's not, um, it's not super light, but it's not real dark either. It's got a, it's got a pretty color on it, but it looks like it would be a really aged single malt if it was from Scotland. But uh, it's only three years old in um, in Texas. So on the nose though, it's a fruit bomb, <laughs> super fruity, but creamy also. Um, So I've been through quite a few bottles of this stuff. Uh, it's either my third or fourth bottle of that. And I always get the same note. Which I'm gonna say red cream soda, but in Cajun country we call it Pop Rouge. All right, get that right off the bat. Get an herbal note in there too though. Almost like a black tea. loads of fruit um let's say red cream soda cherry lemon a little bit of oak not much uh it's, it's really not heavy oak oriented but definitely herbal and sweet and lots of honey Get a lot of honey in it. It's got a complexity to uh, to it, you know, for the nose on it. Let's get into the taste, guys. I 
lots of fruit. Honey does come out. Definitely like a red cream soda kind of flavor. But with that red cream soda, you're getting the honey with it, a cherry. Almost like, I say I say fruit, uh, almost like candied fruit. Because it's really, really, really sweet. It's, one, it's on the sweeter side of whiskey. So, um, you know, some of the whiskeys that you would have, like especially the malts, would be briny or you would get a... Um, like an herbal flavor to it. This is definitely more on the sweeter side. So if you kind of lean it away from some of the sweeter whiskeys, this might not be for you because this is really sweet. Um, sweet and fruity. Mm. A second sip. Definitely more honey, uh, candied fruit. Um, almost like a honeyed orange, uh, or like a candied orange, actually. Um, candied citrus. Uh, it does have that herbal sage kind of flavor to it that um, some of the other balconies has, but just nowhere near as much as like the bourbons or like the blue corn whiskey that they have. The baby blue and the uh, true blue, it, it doesn't have that, that heated Texas herbal sage like it would with those. Full of fruits though. It was like tropical fruits. Like I said, cherries. There's a little bit of banana in there, lemon. It just has a, this super fruity flavor with uh, the honey and the candy fruits and stuff. But also like a tea note in there, like a, like the like same thing you would get in the notes, that tea note is definitely in there in flavor. Not a whole heavy oak, even though it's, some of it's aged and used oak, uh, new oak, but I think the used oak kind of takes away some of that, um, that virgin oak flavor that you would get in there. So it's not a whole heavy oak, it's not a whole lot of oak accents. Just light just to kind of add a little flavor to it that's good stuff though guys um good proofing on it i think uh 94 proof is probably a really good one for it um not bad though uh pot still whiskey always comes out with that um it adds a little bit more flavor to it uh not to say column still whiskey is not putting flavor in their whiskey either but I find you, you get more of a complexity to the pot still whiskey. Whereas they can put out a whole lot of whiskey with column still stuff. This is probably made in smaller batches. And I'm not sure how many uh, stills they have at, at Balconies or not, but. Um, don't really have a whole lot of uh, information on in the back, which they really don't. It just says it's, uh, this expression's paying homage to both traditional single malts that have been an uh, inspiration to the craft as well as deep roots in the heart of Lone Star State. So yeah, they're pretty much saying that they're taking the uh, old single malts that they usually, you know, traditional single malts where they age it and, um, and used in a uh, used oak. They're kind of doing a little Texas spin on it and putting uh, a little virgin oak with theirs. So you get a little bit more of the oak characteristics than more than what you would with a traditional Scotch whiskey. But um, yeah, guys, good stuff. Um, it's on the rating scale. Um, it's really good. Uh, probably out of their core line from Balconies, I would probably take that over anything they have. Um, with that, it's going to get a 6.75. I really like the whiskey. It would almost push out to 7. Uh, it's so complex of a whiskey that one day I might like it more than another day. Uh, but today it gets 6.75. It, it's good whiskey. Um, it comes in at the awesome price point, really, of um, 35 bucks for this one. Uh, but like I said, it's a core cool range from them. I want to say the bourbon probably runs around the same. Um, it's big brother, I would say, would be the um, Mirador. Balcones Mirador, which is aged completely in used oak. And it's a single malt, but it's way higher proof and way better. But this is good too for it, and it's all right for what it is. Mirador, when you can find it, runs 
probably about a hundred bucks. This one, you can get it for 35. Um, and it's good. It really is, uh, for the 94 proof. But yeah, six, six, seven, five for, um, Balconi's lineage. And, um, like I said, guys, Ed does it for the review. Um, you know, if you like, if you like what we do, if, if you've had lineage before, Leave us a comment. Let me know what you think about it. What would you give it on a rating from, um, just say, 0 to 10? What would you give it? Um, let us know in the comments. Um, hit that like button. Check us out on TikTok. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next review.